I see like industrial. Certainly there's beauty in there, but um, I like the industrial feel of it. This, I take it all the way through the process. Here's the raw piece from the rough to the finished polished piece. It's a cool piece of automotive history, this Fordite, because it isn't made anymore. I like all things old. James Blanchard. I'm a jeweler, artist jeweler. These are little hunks of the Fordite. Motor City Agate. Detroit Agate. Some of it is just beautiful. They really turn them into necklaces and bracelets and cufflinks and earrings. That's a good one. It's got silver metallics in it. This would be a nice pendant. It's layers of paint uh, overspray from automotive factories. Uh, River Rouge plant in Detroit. 30s, 40s um, is when they started to spray paint the automobiles by hand. So you'd paint a car red and it would be baked on and so would the overspray that had fallen to the floor. Next car comes in, you paint it blue, etc., etc., etc. So there became an accumulation of all these different colors of paint on the skids and on the railings in the paint booth. Well, this is the um, the overspray, the buildup of the paint, and um, it would uh, form on all the skids. And it was all baked on, so that became really, really hard and colorful. They had to clean it off every once in a while anyway because it would get in the way of painting the cars. So some employees would come in and chip off these chunks of what became known as Fordite, multi-layered, multi-colored, baked paint enamel. And there's, you know, nice metallics in there. And saw some potential in that and started turning it into jewelry and things. And Fordite is really easy to cut. It's really fun to work with. That spraying by hand ended in the 70s. You can't accumulate it anymore. What's there is there, like some old cars, they don't make them anymore. Uh, so it's a finite amount. People really enjoy wearing it, um, car collectors and um, enthusiasts. Well, it's just great Michigan history. So it is a part of history. If you have a piece of Fordite, you've got a piece of history, Detroit history. But I find it interesting that, you know, you've got some uh, what are perceived to be uh, hardcore union labor workers, you know, they're spraying cars. Saw potential in this Fordite uh, and saw some beauty in it, I think, which speaks a lot to the sort of personality of some of the people in Detroit or just the overall character of Detroit. Uh, saw some beauty in this dried, baked paint and turned it into works of art.